In the village of Unkwabi, there has always been a tale of the golden calabash. The elders and parents always told their children the tales and adventures of the golden calabash. It was a myth. No one knew if it was true or not, but it was said to grant anyone who drinks from it immense wisdom and power. All the children in the village grew up listening to the legendary Golden Calabash, especially a particular boy, Chibike. Chibike always loved hearing about the tale of the Golden Calabash and always wanted his mother to tell him the story every night. Even when he visited his grandmother, she would always tell him different tales about the Golden Calabash. By the time he became an adult, his obsession with the Golden Calabash had matured and he believed so much that the Golden Calabash was real and made it his life's work to make research and find the calabash. One day, while discussing about the golden calabash with a few friends, telling them of the great power that awaits whoever finds and drinks from the calabash, his friends would mock him, saying, Chibike, aren't you tired of this your calabash calabash every time? It doesn't exist. You sound like a broken record talking about it every time. He shook his head at his ignorant friends. He knew and believed 100% that the calabash was real. An old woman observing the conversation going on between him and his friends called him to a corner and told him he was write about the golden calabash she had seen it once during her time and said she would help him locate the golden calabash but he must promise never to tell a soul about his mission he agreed and the woman proceeded to tell him that she had seen the golden calabash when she was seven years old her and her friend were playing around in the river when they saw a golden calabash glowing and lying down beautifully beside a few grasses they took it and started playing with it and in the process they started fighting for the possession of the calabash when it accidentally slipped from their hands and fell into the river and floated over to the other side. She told them the direction of the village where the calabash had floated to. Immediately, Chibike picked up a few things, food and a few essentials and journeyed in his quest to find the golden calabash. Chibike set out in his journey and crossed several forests, deserts and mountains. Weeks turned into months, but Chibike's determination never stopped. He encountered several dangerous things in the forest and escaped so many dangers, but his belief in the golden calabash still remained. One day, after several weeks, he finally arrived at the village the old woman directed him to. But when he asked around for the golden calabash, some denied its existence while others told him to go back and stop pursuing the calabash because he was playing with fire. Chibike blocked out their words and continued his search. He looked through all the surroundings of the village and then one fateful day, he found a mysterious looking calabash lying beside a river bank. It was even more beautiful than the stories had explained. He reached out to touch it, but as soon as his fingers touched the surface, suddenly he felt strange as if someone was watching him and he looked around to see if anyone was, but the river bank was empty. Without thinking, Chibike turned and walked away from the calabash and left it lying beside the river. He didn't look back, he didn't stop, until he disappeared into the distance. The golden calabash remained where it was, its light was still fading into the darkness, waiting for the next adventurer to stumble upon it.